Grand Ole Partisan celebrates more than 17 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I express appreciation for Republican respect toward the free exercise of religion. This day of 1909, William Howard Taft became the first president to address a Jewish congregation. He spoke at Rodef Shalom in Pittsburgh. The president noted that the synagogue leader was a friend of Theodore Roosevelt. Taft would make his last public appearance as president at Temple Beth El in New York City to honor B'nai B'rith on its 70th anniversary. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.